Hello everybody, we are back. I was just moving forward here. I thought we were going to get into our Facebook stuff here. Um, I've been working on some stuff with the site as far as my um, my payment method, some stuff within the members area, and I ran into a bit of a problem when it came to my affiliate uh, stuff and ClickBank because I wanted to use ClickBank um, for my uh, so that I could uh, do my affiliate uh, links and marketing through them. I spent some time the last couple days just doing some stuff stuff and getting ready for Facebook and setting all kind of things up but I ran into a problem because they do not like my domain name now this is a problem that um, I've never actually ran into and what it is is it has to do with my domain name because I'm using a brand name within my domain name now if you remember when we did keyword research um, we you know I decided to use the keyword as my domain name and I told you it wasn't that big a thing as much as it was in the past but Clickbank does not like the idea of me using WordPress the name which is the brand now I have other websites where I use brand names and I've never had an issue but it kinda bit me this time so um, I thought about doing a subdomain and through one of my other sites and then you know, one of my personal site dot wpress dot com which is allowed allowed by them but they don't want the members area to say anything that has the word WordPress in it so instead of um, doing jumping through some hoops I decided to go ahead and get another domain name so what I'm going to do today is transfer that domain name over to my new domain name this domain to my new domain name so we're gonna take a sharp left turn and cover several things here because what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to go into our um, uh, HostGator account and set up a database for, so that we can do this we're gonna be using FileZilla which is an FTP program I wasn't really going to do FTP because it's pretty straightforward, but since we're going to use it in this example, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And over here is the new domain name that I've already purchased. I've already set the DNS name service on it, and I've already added it to the domains. And as you can see, it's WPress tutorial videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. And as you can see, there's nothing in here. Now, there's several ways to do this, and... Um, um, without getting too detailed into the all the nuts and bolts of it what we're going to do is use a plugin here and you can get this plugin through wordpress.org it's actually fairly new and it's called a duplicator and since we needed to go over backing up your website anyhow this is a good training opportunity so you can learn how to back up your stuff and in this example we're going to be cloning it uh, same principle applies. You'll just use what we do here, um, the file that we create to um, go ahead and um, and back your site up as well. So let's see if we can do this. Probably be two videos to do this, but let's get going and get this knocked out so I can get onto our Facebook stuff. So go out to the site and just it's here's the link right here. Now I'll put it out there for you, and it's called Duplicator and we just go ahead and down you know hit download here and download the file and I've already downloaded the file to my desktop and once you have the file downloaded um, so I have it right here on my desktop once you have it you're just going to install it like you're going to install any other plugin so let's just go ahead and do that go to plugins and let's go to add new we're going to go to upload then we're going to go to browse and we're going to go to our desktop and here it is it's called duplicator and let's install it and this should take just a second once it's installed let's go ahead and activate the plugin so let's go down here here we have it it's called duplicator 
let's click on manage and what we're going to do is we're going to basically empty my cache here we're basically going to um, uh, make a file of every our database and all the files and everything on this website so that we can take it and put it on our new domain name and there's two because um, the guy go the, over here on the site uh, the guy has a tutorial it's a quick two minute tutorial he it, which is maybe appropriate for doing a back um, a backup but not for what we're going to do just so you know you can look at that video and I went through it but what we need to do is create two files and we're going to create a package file and a PHP file so as you can see right now it's giving us a name a package name here that we for us already and um, what we have to do is basically just create the package so go over here and let's create a package now what it's telling us is this is the size of all the stuff that I have on here right now which is not too big and this is the name it's going to give us the date and then WordPress tutorial videos and that's fine it's going to go out and get all of our files it's going to give us a compress the files and then it's going to give us um, a zipped file and it's supposed to give us another file I believe it's a PHP file um, package for us so there it is it's done 23 megs not too bad and here is the package file that we need and we also need this installer file so let's go ahead and download the package you just click here it's going to say this is the name of it and it's going to go to wherever you your downloads go is where it's going to go and so it's going to take a second and download there and we're going to go ahead and get the well let's wait until this finishes real quick okay so that file has finished now let's go ahead and get the uh, installer file let's download that one we're going to go ahead and save it's called install.php and that looks like that's finished those are pretty quick so now let's go get those files into our download area now let's see here we have our downloads now here it is there's the package file and then here's our install file so let's go I'm just going to take both of these and I'm just going to drag them over here to the desktop so I know where they're at okay now that we have that done now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and load those files up to our new domain name and to do that we're going to use FileZilla and we haven't been through this yet but this is pretty straightforward go out here get FileZilla at this location and just download it and just download not the server just the client and once you get that download go ahead and install and we're going to go ahead and open up FileZilla and I'm going to show you how to set this up pretty straightforward you go over here go to your file site manager and here's where you're going to add your um, your domain information so that you can log in so you're just going to go click on create new site and then it's going to bring up this screen screen it's going to be blank all you have to do is put in your host name which is your domain name that you got at HostGator okay the full domain name in my case the very first one I ever got remember we went over this in module one put that in make sure your protocol is FTP encryption is just plain FTP your login type is going to be normal then you're going to use your username and your password to get in the same username and password that you got when you first set up your HostGator account okay we're just going to go ahead and hit connect right there and then what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and it's going to get you into your um, domain now over here is all of our desktop stuff and over here on the on the right side is the server now we're right here at root if we just click on this open it up you have all the different files that will be in your HostGator account 
Now what you want to be in, go into, is your public HTML. This is where you load all of your domains. This is where they, this is where they live. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the, the one that we just bought. Now down here is going to give us a lid. Once you click, now you can open it up the long way as well. Okay. And you can scroll down. And we're going to go through and I'm going to find the domain I just purchased. Here it is. WPress Tutorial Videos. And there's nothing in it right now. Okay. Just our CGI, our CGI bin. Okay. As you can see over here, that's all that's in it. So what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and put those two files in here. So we're going to take both of these files, the install file and the package file, and just, you can see we're right here, and down here is our, the area where we're just going to take these and place them. We're just going to drag and drop them, and it's just going to go through and it's going to install, and this is going to take a while. Now while this is installing, let's go up here and go into our uh, cPanel, into the front end of our um, HostGator account. Remember, NewbieMarketerOnline.com slash cPanel is how you get to log in. Let's go ahead and log in. And I think I'm going to cut this here at 12 minutes and we're going to do a part two on this. So we'll log into our host gator and be back for the to finish this up.